So switching this lantern, cutler hammer switch is uh, got some pretty oxidized contacts in it, and uh, it won't keep the bulb going. So uh, I'll show you how to take one apart because you're never going to get another one. Uh, seeing the ends here. It's easier to see on this switch. Uh, it's filled up with some kind of resin or plastic, maybe gutta percha. Uh, but underneath that, there's uh, two screws. So you want to dig that out with a screwdriver. It uh, almost has a brown color to it. When you start chipping it away. <sighs> Yeah, I could hear I hit the screw. I'm going to get a knife. I'm just using an exacto. Clean that out a little bit. <clears throat> well, it takes a little bit of work uh, to get it out, but it's worth it. So I'll come back in a second and uh, show you what it's going to look like when we get it. Alright, so once you dig that out, it doesn't have to be perfect, just clean the heads of the screws out so that you can get your screwdriver in. And once you start to move the screws, the rest of that stuff all comes out. When you're taking it apart, make sure that the switch isn't in the out, make sure it's in the in position like that, so it doesn't just fall apart on you and you don't lose parts. Okay, so we'll drop those screws out. and remove the bottom. Now those two bars there, those are the contact and this little metal part of the housing comes off. And then that right there is what goes down and uh, actually connects the contacts there. Yeah, when, when this switch is uh, together, you see it pulls out and that pushes down against the contacts like so. So, you're going to put that against the table and then pull it up. That way it doesn't go flying off of there. There's that piece. You don't really need to do much to that piece. You can kind of see there's a a spring that wraps around here, and once it pushes over that hump, it snaps, and that's housed housed inside of there. See that? Let's get the spring out of there. There it is. So that little spring that's what makes this work seems to be a little bent too factory flaw <clears throat> you can move this tab a little bit pop that piece up from that piece and then all you need to do 
is clean this and clean the contacts. A little piece of fine sandpaper. These contacts are pretty warm, so I'm going to take my file to it and just give them a little bit of smoothing. fairly clean. That's nice and clean. And simply reattach it. Now, a little bit of grease helps these switches go back together. So I went and got my white lithium grease. And I'm just going to take some, put a little dab on the barrel there. Don't need much, just a little bit. Makes it operate a little smoother. Now to put it back together, first you start and take that rubber washer type deal put that on. Then you take your contact and uh, you want to take your little spring and slide it inside there and try and center it so that it's in that hole. Then you want to barrel back in there. And you want to have it facing this way on the switch. Uh, not this way. That's going to drastically reduce uh, or it's going to drastically increase the resistance of the switch if you turn it that way. So keep it that way. Then wipe the grease off your hand. Put this on with the little nicks facing this way on the switch. And finally, put your base on. And now all that's left to do is put the screws back in. Okay. And that's how you repair a cutler hammer switch.